So if this movie ain't crazy enough for you, all I can say is watch it again. So, hello, Phil DeFranco Movie Club. Today's movie is Super, written and directed by James Gunn, starring Rain Wilson, Ellen Page, uh, Kevin Bacon, Liv Tyler. Th this is one of my favorite movies because it handles the subject of insanity in such a colorful and beautiful way. Uh, centered mostly on the main character of Frank, played by Rain Wilson, pl played brilliantly by Rain Wilson. Granted, I haven't seen him do anything else besides this movie. I was never a fan of The Office. Better. To me, this movie is a masterpiece. I, you know, I easily give this movie a 9 out of 10 because, I mean, again, I'll go with the number one reason. The number one reason to see this film is that you will see insanity in a whole new light that most films do not uh, enter into. And it's insanity in the form of wanting to do something, needing to do something. Not just wanting to sit by and let life happen, not just wanting to sit by and let bad things happen to people that you care about, but wanting to do something about it. And it then takes on the form of, okay, I know exactly what I'll do. I'll dress up as a superhero and smack people in the head with a pipe wrench. Little note, it touches on the notion that anyone who wants to be a superhero has got to be a little crazy. The hallucinations in this movie are just off the fucking chart. And it's all a part of the visual style of this film that uh, makes this film so very unique. Uh, let's see, and, oh yes, and I gotta, I also give, gotta give props to Nathan Fillion for playing the Holy Avenger, which, by the way, is based on a real-life superhero, Bible Man. Uh, it's, just, it's funny as hell watching him play that role. And then in the hallucination, he, his brain gets touched by God. Like, right before he has that hallucination, he says... When he saw Liv Tyler for the first time, he heard the voice of God say, Marry her! The voice of God is played by rock star Z Rob Zombie. Gets that fucking crazy! And you gotta love it for that! Because it's a whole new take on the insanity that it would, it would kind of be required to be a superhero. It's one of the most beautiful endings in that, you know, we begin with Frank having this eternal depression that he thinks there's only so much good in the world and he's only had two good memories left. But after going through what he's been through, uh, so much turmoil to try and make the world a better place for at least the woman he loves, to just try and rescue her from drug addiction and... Uh, Frank realizes that there is more to life. He, there are beautiful moments in life that almost any moment can be a beautiful moment. That and, and that scene, oh man, it's it's actually it almost brings tears to my eyes when at that scene at the end where he's petting the bunny and looking at the wall of his bedroom covered in beautiful memories because he's learned to love and appreciate life for all the beauty that it has to offer. It is just a beautiful movie all through and through. It's if you can get past the craziness. I mean, go it if you're if you're gonna watch this movie, get ready for some craziness. Get ready for some very weird characters, but very memorable characters, very unique and memorable characters. And like I've said before, that is what storytelling is all about. And the only reason it doesn't have a ten out of ten is because the weirdness can be very off-putting to a lot of people. But if you can make it through that, then you're gonna make it through a great journey of a great film and a story that will stick with you about just how beautiful life can be. Click like if you like, click subscribe if you want to see more. Link in the description down below to uh, my Facebook, my Twitter, my website. Check it all out. In the meantime, Phil DeFranco Movie Club, thank you so much for choosing this movie. Thank you for choosing great movies. Keep on choosing great movies, and I'll see you next time on the Phil DeFranco Movie Club.